Good morning, everyone. I'm Leda Eka Banilla under the supervision of Mr. De Lorenzo. And for this day, I will be presenting my thesis entitled Development and Evaluation of Outcome-Based Enrichment Activity in Statistics and Probability. To begin with, let us have a background to initiate this study. One of this initiative of the government is to strengthen the basic education system in the Philippines is the program of the Republic Act 10533. This law is to implement the K-12 program wherein one of the main goals of the program is to produce productive and responsible citizens empowered with the necessary competencies, skills, and value needed for the long life learning, employment, and the challenge of the 21st century. One of the subjects under the K-12 curriculum is statistics and probability in senior, in senior high school. According to Osaka 2017, mathematics is one of the most difficult subject for a student because they have traumatic experience of number. Supporting this idea in the study that negative belief of the student about mathematics could affect their performance. Similarly, mathematics as a branch of science is considered as an abstract. As a subject, it required a strong facilitator that could help the learner to bridge up the negative perception of the student toward learning. Poste Tassari et al. in 2019 stated that logical thinking is the key in learning and understanding statistics and probability. Conducting the study to find out the difficulty of the student in solving statistics and probability problem in terms of aspect of mathematic logical thinking. It is also stated that improving mathematics learning will help in overcoming the problem. Also, Lovin and Igain 2019 were able to support the conclusion of Pustetari at et al. as they stated the struggle learner need teachers who understand why they have difficulty under mathematics. Instruction that addresses these unique learners needs thereby allowing them to understand mathematics. The teacher who are committed to continue continuing to work with them until they reach understanding. Giving activity that help the student to their critical thinking were answering mathematics problem. The study conducted by Prado, Tan, and Payuyan in, 19, in 2019 showed that by using instructional material in general mathematics, the outcome of the student greatly improved and that there are significant difference in the, in the student attitude, motivation, and self-efficient belief between and after the treatment. One of the programs that are being exhibited by the Department of Education is the making of outcome-based activity as the intervention in uplifting the performance of the students and is student-centered learning model. Williams Pandey, who is considered as the father of outcome-based education, state that outcome-based education means clearly focusing and analyzing everything in the education systems around what is essential for all students to be able to be successful at the end of the learning experience. Performance is a factor that assessing student learning outcomes. Classroom objectives in teaching was established as part of the education in which the students were the subject of the classification or being evaluated. If how a student acquire and retrain during their participation in the activity. By Balak, Balakwit 2020, 
2001. The relevance of the use of outcome-based activity in the field of education are under nearby grade. The teacher are incredible benefiting and on it. Low performance students are inevitable. They are part of the classroom, even across the world. Many researchers and scholars have studied the, the significance of this method and strengthening the mastery of skill and competencies among students across the subject. In with this, developing an outcome-based enrichment activity that was used to access student performance through their outputs, regardless of the process they have on applying on what they have learned. So the research problem of the study is one, how may the outcome-based enrichment activity in a statistics and probability be developed? And number two, how may the outcome-based enrichment activity be evaluated by the expert in terms of 2.1 content, 2.2 format, 2.3 presentation and organization, and 2.4 accuracy and timeliness. For the method, okay, for the evalu evaluators, so the education, one education program specialist in learning resources materials developed system or the EPS LRMDS. A senior, two senior, a uh, one senior high school coordinator, two senior high school master teacher, two mathematics college teacher, and two senior high school teacher in the Department of Education in Angeles City. Okay, instrument use. We use the curriculum guide to identify the competencies in planning the outcome-based activity. The second instrument use is the evaluation rating sheet. The evaluation tool was adapted from the divisions of Angeles City. The instruments was evaluated by learning resources Materials Development System, or the LRMDS, Senior High School Coordinator, Master Teacher, a College Teacher, and a Senior High School Teacher in Angeles City. So the, the part of the uh, outcome-based activity, so we have planning. Under planning, we have the identify, identify materials needed, learning competencies. For the second, we have the categorizing. The other categorizing, it is learning, the learning competencies, formatting and designing. We need to format or we need to identify determining the format, the presentation, and part of the activity sheet. And last is the editing. So we have the initial evaluation and the final evaluation. For the development of the outcome-based activity, we have a part of introduction where a, a brief, brief details in the given area. Okay. It is composed of what you, what you are ex, uh, expected to learn, that is the competencies under the given subject. What do you need to know? That is explanation examples, then what you need to do that is the uh, test or the activity of the students and the reference and answer key. For the results and discussions, so the first uh, problem is how may the outcome base enrichment activity in statistics and probability be developed. Table one shows that the state in the development of the outcome-based activity, which is planning, we, pre uh, we prepare all the, all the materials needed, listing all the materials or the learning competencies in the statistics and probability based on the K-12 curriculum guide identify of the subject matter 
of the subject matter expert as the evaluator of the of the study. And by for categorizing, let us classify the learning competencies. Formatting and uh, date and design the stage, determining the format of outcome-based activity, determining the presentation of the, of the lesson, uh, writing the initial draft of the learning-based activity. For the editing stage, so edit the first draft of the outcome-based activity and the final revision. The conclusion for the first problem, the outcome-based enrichment activity in statistics and probability was developed through the evaluation of the subject matter expert on learning experience in, stat in statistics and probability based on the K-12 basic program curriculum guide past the criteria in the evaluation tool, which means it is suitable in terms of content, Pro, uh, format, presentation, and organiza organization, accuracy, and updates, updatedness. For the, for the evaluation result and discussion, so how may the outcome-based enrichment activity in statistics and probability be evaluated by the expert in terms of 1.1? Uh, 2.1, the content, 2.2, format, 2.3, presentation and organization, and 2.4, accuracy and timeliness. Table 2.1, evaluation of, evaluation of the outcome-based activity in terms of content. So, eight evaluator of the de uh, development based activity in statistics and probability in terms of content based on the computed result on every statement on each base. It showed that the general mean of base one is, is 27.25% and the descriptive rating of pass. The statement number four, material in free of ideological, cultural, religious, ra uh, racial, and gender basis and prodigious. Six, uh, statement number six, materials has the potential to arouse essential of targets. And statement number seven, adaptive warning, cautionary notes are provided to topic and activity where safety and health health of the concern were agreed and, and rated satisfaction by the evaluator. The rest of the statement were rated very satisfactory. This means that the second phase proceed because they, there were still those needed to be reevaluated to improve the outcome-based activity. In the phase two evaluation, the general mean is 28, which there's the descriptive rating of pass. This indicates that it achieved this its desired score. All the evaluator rated the statement very satisfactory. Therefore, the use of the instructional materials as evaluated by the outcome-based enrichment activity in terms of contest past the standard, as well as the Department of Education. The outcome-based enrichment activity in terms of content shall be suitable to the student level of development. Table 2.2, uh, state the evaluation of the outcome-based activity in terms of format. The table 2.2 show the evaluation of the eight evaluator of development develop outcome-based activity in terms of format based on the computed result or every statement on each base use frequency. It showed that the general mean of the base one obtained 60.75% and the descriptive rating of pass. Statement 1.3, font is easy to read. 2.3, properly labeled. It captioned 2.6 culturally relevant 4.1 
paper use contribute to easy reading. 4.2, durable, durable binding to withstand frequent use. 5.1, easy to handle. 5.2, relatively light, was agreed the rate of very satisfactory. However, eight statements were rated satisfactory and two stated were rated poor. Therefore, the outcome-based activity need to be improved so that the phase two, phase two evaluations proceeded since we are committing and suggesting that need to be incorporated for the implementation of the outcome-based activity. The evaluator suggested to use alternative and eye-catching di diagram for the learners so that the student will better understand its concept. In the phase two evaluation, the general mean obtained is 72, which is description rating of pass. Eight of the statements were agreed and rated very satisfactory. This means that the desired score was achieved based on the evaluation of the expert. This study confirmed that the finding of Almorayo in 2012, that is the development of structural material content organization of topic, mechanics, and language use. Appropriateness of the presentation, illustration, and pedagogical approach this means that the use of the instructional materials as evaluated by the evaluator meet all the criteria related to the required format. The format of outcome-based activity show, should follow the size of the letter, space, the font style, the quality of printing, the illustration must be recognizable. The design and the layout and the alternative of sample the use of paper is easy to read and durable binding, and the size and the width is easy to handle and light. For the table 2.3, the evaluation of the outcome-based activity in terms of presentation and organization, the table shows that evaluation of the eight evaluator of the outcome-based enrichment activity in terms of presentation and organization based on the computed score or the computed result on each statement on its spaces in space spaces using frequency it showed that the general mean of the phase one is 20 with a description rate of pass as evaluated by the eight evaluator in terms of presentation and organization pass the standard set by the Department of Education. This study confirmed that the finding of Procton in 2014, that the material should be fun and easy to use to make early enjoyable, to make the learner enjoyable and be provide the finding of success and low anxiety. The outcome-based activity in terms of presentation and organization must be engaged, interesting, and in understandable. There should be a smooth flow of idea and should be logical. And last, for the evaluation of the outcome or evaluation of the outcome-based activity in terms of frequency, in the frequency, Accuracy and updatedness show in the table the, the eight evaluator of the outcome based activity in terms of accuracy and updatedness of the information based on the computed result on each statement on its space. It shows that the general mean of the phase one is 24, which describes rating of pass. It indicates that all statements obtain perfect score. Therefore, the researcher meet the score intended for the factor four, that the score must at, mo at least be 24 points to be, be, be recommended for the use of the public school. The use of the instructional material as evaluated by the eight evaluators in terms of accuracy and updatedness 
in information phase, the, the uh, pass the standard set by the Department of Education. The descriptive of the mo of the module confirm to the idea of uh, of by Hurst Hurstley in 2014. That accuracy and updatedness in, of information important in writing a book. The outcome-based activity in terms of accuracy and updatedness of information should, should follow the use of the clear grammar of information that are factual and relevant, as well as the illustration must be clear to view by the learners. For that, the conclusion for the for the problem number two, the outcome-based enrichment activity in the statistics and probability is a good tool that can be used by the student to enhance their mathematical logical thinking in which their performance will be based on their output. For the recommendation, outcome-based enrichment activity may be developed by evaluate and evaluated on other grade level. And for the recommend, recommendation number two, to, to conduct the same study, but tackling a different subject in which it should also focus in giving activity that are outcome-based outcome -based activity. And that's all for, for my presentation. Thank you for listening.